Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do something I don't normally do, but something I wanted to do for a while. We're gonna break down just how Jackson State can actually beat Texas State by going off the loss they had against UTSA. Now, we don't have the home court advantage, but there's things we can look in here and find out are pretty easy. I mentioned before, if Mr. Brown can understand, you don't gotta be Michael Vick, but Texas State has a tendency Sort us down for y'all real quick. Y'all can see this. Their ends get up to up to field too quick. You're gonna have space in the middle because this guy, the middle linebacker, is not disciplined at all. You see that throughout the whole game. Watch this. Not disciplined. Who the hell are you covering? Covering him? Who are you covering? There's no one else over here. This is this is alignment. You're not covering anybody. You're way out of position. And that happens a lot during this game. You said Brown doesn't have to be Michael Vick. He has to be able to read the linebackers. That will be there all damn game. And yes, it will come down to basically your Special teams, you gotta be perfect. No misses or extra points or field goals. No blocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the play right here is also very crucial. I said before and I'll say it again, Jackson State has more speed than Texas State. When it comes to skill positions, it is not close. Um, if, if we can get back to this, you'll see it again. This guy is not disciplined. Why are you running into the pile? Why? At least this man hit a block and no one is within 10 yards. Take what they give you. And once again, I want you to follow this middle linebacker and follow these ends. It's their all damn game. Fourteen. I believe fourteen was a blitzing cornerback. But watch 33 and watch 14. Watch what they do. First of all, why? Where the hell are you going? Where are you going? He's trying to chase like the quarterback. No one is playing the running back. He automatically is <laughs> like the middle linebacker just doesn't exist in his off his defense. Wrong read all game. One missed tackle. Safety comes up. As a running back, you got to make one person miss, right? No speed on the outside, Texas State. No speed at all. The running backs for Jackson State have a field day. Draws, uh, screens. Another thing, I will say this, and yeah, like I said, I'll give credit where credit is due. The young man here does have a cannon, but he's like a souped-up version of Jerome Pass with a little more accuracy. A lot of people think they compare him to Vince Young. No. No, I'm not saying he, he's a statue, but he is not Vince Young. If Jackson State's these three people middle linebacker or any linebacker y'all have to control the middle of the field and your corners can take care of the uh, receivers just do a 50-50 it will be easy the only big play they really had was when one of the corners made a bad read this is it right here 
He stares down who he's going at. He stares him down. If this corner realized he's not going here, he's going out there, it'll be an easy pick. Right here. See, that is a bad move. This man has the flat. This is covered. This is covered. Everything is covered. He made one bad move. And the ball is there. The safety must not go for the big hit on his receivers. These are big country boys. You must play the ball. It's just it's how it is, man. With this team, you don't have much time. If you've seen UIW, you know what offense they're running. Don't got much time. And even though they got in the, in the end zone with a running play, they don't run the ball that much. They just don't do it. All they really did was collapse the line because UTSA is a great team. I think one of the best teams in Texas. But their, their D-line, you can see, see the size difference, right? <laughs> their D-line, when it comes to Smash Mouth, it, it can't stand with them. These are big linemen. Now, I'm not saying they're the best linemen, but they flow as hell. But they are, when they get their hands on you, they will lean on you all game. And once again, another play to show you. What happens here? Everything is covered, right? Late leak. That late leak has this, this coverage, man. Just jumped just a little bit, even though this man is covered by him. That's who's covering him. He has to zone up a little bit more in here because the ball goes right over his head. Nobody covered that part of the field. The interior of this field and those corners are going to be the deciding factor. I want to also tell you something. If I tell you, you can't let these boys get a hold of you, they will hold the hell out of you. He damn near giving that man a prayer. Like, hey, dog, tonight for dinner, fool, we having tacos and fajitas. Coming over, he whispering in his ear. They will get you with speed. If you have speed on your edges, they will get you. If not, they are holding the entire damn game. Every single one of them holding, holding on for dear life. Because they flow, but they are strong. Every play. And once again, I told you before, special teams are going to be something you got to deal with. You cannot have any missed extra points. Any missed um, field goals. It's kind of counterinducive to what Jack State wants to do. Playing keep away. But if you make this team think on offense, you got a chance to win. Now, I want you to keep in mind what I said earlier. Remember what I said earlier about the middle linebackers on this team? I told you earlier. Remember what I told you earlier about middle linebackers and the speed on this defense? I'm going to slow this down for you. It's slower than what it is right now. I want you to see this. Middle linebacker automatically blitzing. There is nobody. I mean, there is no one in this middle. At all. Gene C. Riley. You about to have a uh, Andre Hunt. It's gonna be your game to make NFL right here. 
and their ends always go up. Always try to circle. If you have any daylight, this is always open. You just read the linebacker. Whichever way he goes, left or right, go the opposite way. And guess what happens? On this play, <coughs> you have a safety. You have a cornerback. Safety's right here. Got a cornerback. Theoretically, this cornerback should be governing the safety, right? Covering this receiver, right? The safety should be a bracket covered over the top, right? Who's actually open on this play? He is. But because the cornerbacks are small and non-responsive, he's open as well. Watch the play play out. The defense side is all about the scheme. Are you disciplined? Watch this. Once again, now look at this. Look where you're at. <laughs> you have one, two, three, four, five wides. You're on the 20. Down by seven in the fourth quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six back. Five corners, one safety. <sighs> what happens? Like I told you, the boys up front are big, but they are slow. Speed, Rush, Antonio Doyle, my man. <laughs> Webb, my man, this is your game. Make your money. The big the corners middle is still playing. Whoever on that Jack State D line, wear they ass out with speed. Watch this. They gave them boys a, a 10 yard gap. It's third and goal. You gotta get the end zone, right? What's up? They're still backing up. Now, how do you have a jump start? You 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 pulled a, a Kansas City Chief. <laughs> you back here, he, he down in the backfield. Watch this. Speed. Speed. He can't read the defense. I'm going to show you a little closer, too. I'm going to show you closer what happens. And this is how I know that deep, the offensive line don't care. I want you to count, man. One, two, three, four. The entire D line of UTSA. I think I saw a chili in there, a guy selling popcorns down there too. Everybody understands they were selling tickets. Got on that sack. But I want to show you something very carefully. So you understand what's really going on with their line. Okay. Now, it's third down and goal. It's a two down territory. No matter what, you got two downs to get in the end zone. So, what happens? He's eyeing him the whole way. You think he's eyeing him, right? Nope. He goes on, on the out. He cuts across. You would think, hey, I'm looking at him. Nope. Watch his eyes. Slow down a little bit for you. Watch his eyes. He literally changes his vision to look over here. He literally changes his eyes to look at him. And then watch this. That ball should have been out before he had a chance to jump. That's how he know he was not watching the receiver. If he was watching the receiver, the ball's out now. 
He is watching him the whole way. Because look, when he's open right now, right? Why the hell open? Watch what happens. He jumps. He stops the ball. Still throw the ball. Still open. Still open, right? Nope. He watched him the whole time. I want you to watch this. One, two, three. This is somebody over here. Four, five. Look at their line. One, two, three, four, five. Five people on the line. This was basically a head up, man to man, attacking their deep off the line. He gets sacked by the end on the other side. Then all of a sudden, it goes D tackle, it goes other D tackle, it goes other end, goes chili from the backside, goes dude to popcorn. Do you see that lineman? They are playing pile up on this dude. Only one lineman cares. The one that got beat for the sack. Rest of them don't even care. They're walking away. The whole damn team is on him. They don't care. They're tired. The speed wore them out. We're from having a third and goal at a 20 with the possibility of making it a two down territory to get a touchdown. You're not kicking a long field goal because your old line is tired from the speed. Not from the heat. They're playing in the dome. The speed. Once again, extra points, field goals, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah, they made it. They're good at kicking. So that's why I said the extra points are going to be very crucial. Field goal very, very crucial. Uh, this was just basically a 42-yard attempt in the game. Get it up by seven, five minutes to go. That's it. UTSA's defensive line ran, ran them out, ran, wore out their offensive line with speed. Nothing to do with power. That was the problem Baylor did. Baylor tried to attack their offensive line with power. You got country boys up here, country strong. You can't go head up with them boys. You have to attack the speed and on the edges. The run, the quarterback, best way to say this, a lot of people see a black quarterback and they say, oh man, he's athletic, he's, he's, a, he's mobile. He reminds me of a Brian Lethridge. Deadly deep passer. Give him time, in a clean pocket, he'll tear you up. He's an excellent leader. But mobile, Vince Young, he is not. If Jackson State, if Brown can take care and handle and spot those running opportunities, you don't got to be Dan Marino. You don't got to be Michael Vick. I need you to be Steve Young. If there's an opening, take it. The receivers, they're there. Rico Powers, the tight ends with Hunt, the speed is there. This is your chance. Coach Simmons with the breakdown. I'll holler at your boys later. If you want to support the channel, go like what I'm doing here. Go ahead and hit the cash app or the Venmo. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night.